It happened. I applied for my first job. Hello there, welcome back to the channel for episode 13 of Hall of Famer here with Club One Scunthorpe United. Hope this video finds you well. Morning, noon, night, wherever time of day it is. Hope you're having a fantastic day nonetheless. If you're going to enjoy this video, please drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and so let's get into it. You can see we have lost a few league games now. So we lost against Warsaw and recently against Salford, who are just above us. And today we are playing at home to Rochdale and away against Sutton at United. Now with those, it does leave us in fourth place. Uh, Sutton and Exeter have already played their games. Um, any kind of, as long as we avoid defeat, we will go back above Exeter into the automatic promotion places. But I've literally just applied for that Plymouth job because I just randomly looked at the job section and there was a few jobs actually. Uh, but um, I don't think I'm going to get any of the ones like Blackburn or Rotherham. And I don't really, I'm not really interested in another one in League Two. So, yeah, it'd be, be silly for me if I went for another League 2 job when we're not doing too bad here at Scunthorpe. Um, huh. But yeah, form's been up and down. Home form's good, away form, not so good. But let's get into this game against Rochdale. It'd be awesome if we could uh, keep our winning streak at home going because Rochdale are close to us in the league. I think even if they... I mean, should they win, I don't think we'll... Um, you know what, I'm actually going to put Janelle Bennett on. Oh, I haven't even introduced the team to you. What the hell am I doing? Do Hurston goal. A back four of Eurworth, Anderson, Gilchrist and Gordon. Butterfield, Longstaff, uh, Longstaff and Dixon Boller in midfield. Diallo and Bennett on the wings and Walker up front. Did I just call this the midfield? I meant the defence. Apologies. So uh, let's get into this game. Uh, Rochdale are, like I said, they are close to us in the league. I think they're like 5th or 6th, maybe 7th. Um, I think even if they win, I don't think they go above us, but again, I can't 100% remember. So, um, yeah, I mean, we, were, we weren't we were that bad against Salford. We had a lot of shots. Let's get it back to uh, key highlights. We had a lot of shots, we just couldn't put them away. We had like 24 shots, I think. So it's not like we didn't try. Not like we didn't try, right? Butterfield with a free kick. Oh, that's close. Oh, and I think this is from the resulting throw here. From the that Dixon Bonner was Walker offside? Apparently not. Dixon Bonner, can he shoot? Oh he can. And it's just over. But a couple of tasty opportunities early on. Twenty minutes in, we are gonna encourage. That's just, uh, cheered the morale up a little bit. But it has slowed the football down a bit. Nothing really in the last 10-15 minutes in terms of shots. Just a one shot, which is obviously wide. And Emmanuel with a throw now for Rochdale. Lumps up the field. Yorworth could have really controlled that much better there. And he's on the ball again. Yorworth tries to put it over the top. Walker will get to this. Walker's in. He tries to put it in. Janil Bennett with a shot. Oh, and he scores. Janil Bennett. I mean, well done. But that keeper's had a hell of a mare there, hasn't he? Walker, I mean, he's there, and he's the lone striker. And he's not really got a lot of support there. But Janil Bennett, I mean, to be fair, it's a good shot. But is Ted really should have done better than that. He literally palmed it into the net. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not going to complain. We're one nil up at half-time. Happy days. So, um, and I'm satisfied with the performance. So, let's continue. Um, the thing that Scunthorpe will probably be annoyed about as well is the fact that I've literally just signed a new two-year contract as well. And uh, this season they expect to be clear of relegation. Next season they want us to go in the playoffs. And the season after that they want us to win League 2. Or go up to League 1 via the league somehow. So um, they've got... Oh, that was a terrible pass, but we've managed to win the ball back. It is now Raymond. 66 minutes on the clock. Oh, Raymond. Oh, he's put in the walker. And it's 2-0. Come on. That's more flaming like it, baby. Come on. 67 minutes on the clock. It is Scunfield. Scunfield? Scunthorpe 2. Rochdale 0. Come on. And with that, we are going back above Salford. And Sutton are... Are they losing? 
I'm not sure. I just saw crew that I just saw that crew had a goal. Right, Gilchrist, Dixon, Bonner. Goes to Bennett now. Bennett goes to Diallo. Diallo puts the ball in for Walker, who's on side. Tyler Walker, and he makes it three 0 Wonderful stuff. Wonderful play, and. Uh, He's turning out to be a cracking sign-in at this level. And we now lead by three goals to nil. And I think it's safe to say we are uh, bouncing back from that defeat against uh, Salford with a win. Uh, Langstaff's already come off. Hinchelwood can come on for Dixon Bonner. Uh, Laco can come on for Janelle Bennett. And Hector Ingram can come on for Diallo. Let's swap them around, actually. Um, I'm going to leave Tyler Walk. Oh, great. That changes things, doesn't it? Okay, so Gilchrist will go out to the right. Hammond will come on for Gordon. And... Hector Ingram on for Janelle Bennett. Yeah, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. That's more or less what I did anyway, isn't it? Uh, so, 3-0. We are bouncing back with a win here, which is awesome. Uh, can we have anything else? I mean, Crew are oh, Crew are beating Salford two 0 Thought Crew were playing Sutton for some reason. Really don't know why. All right, it's now with. I'm assuming this is Scott Sinclair. Could could be a different Sinclair to be fair. That's with Taylor now. Puts it over the top. And yeah, that was that wasn't a great effort, was it? Hammond Raymond uh, Clifford now puts it over the top for Sinclair. Sinclair gives it to it. Yeah. The thing is, it's just going a bit too fast for me to actually read the names. Hammond puts it over the top for Walker, who is on a hat-trick. It's Tyler Walker, and he scores. Tyler Walker has his hat-trick, and we now lead by four goals to nil. And this has been a absolute goal fest today, folks. Lovely, lovely stuff. Sinclair with a... Cross and Southfield, Sackfield, not sure what um, his name there, just goes over and we are won by four goals to nil. Parker's a happy man. I wonder if anything's going to come about from that, the uh, Plymouth job that we've applied for. I thought I would just test the waters and apply for something. Oh, that's not good. But I do have another midfielder lined up because we managed to loan out Beeston. Oh, Gordon's out for a bit as well. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm going to send him there. Superb in front of goal. There we go. So if anything comes about, I mean, it's two days. Until we face Sutton. But if anything comes up regarding the Plymouth job. I'll come back as soon as. But if not. We're getting to Sutton. Alex Patters Patterson is in. Bad news. Uh, we can't register him. <laughs> so we'll have to wait a couple of months before we can register him. Um, it kind of sucks that we've got Langstaff out injured. But I think we'll still be alright. We've got decent midfielders that can cover that area. So I think everything will be fine. We're going to put Janelle Bennett back on. Because he didn't do too bad. So um Yes, a uh, really big game here today. Um, we're away against top of the table Sutton, and we are second. So this is this this is a big one. This is a toughie. This is certainly a toughie today. So we'll uh, see what happens. Um, obviously, nothing's happened with that job application for Plymouth, but because um, it's only been two days. Mm, pardon me. Pardon me. Dear, dear. All right, just me getting a bit more comfy on my chair. Let's see what we can do here. I mean, how much? What's the? I don't even know what the point difference is at this point. Is it like two points or something? It's two points. So if we can win this, we'll go above them. And we'll, we'll we win this, we go top. And Sutton have a chance inside four minutes, which has gone just over. Fair enough. Doesn't really change anything. Uh, but they have a free kick. Wellens, I'm assuming that's Richie Wellens. And it's another shot, which is just over as well. So we need. I'm going to encourage very early on, 
because we've not had a we've not had a great start here. Oh, that's a really good double save there from Dewhurst. The uh, Sutton player could have done better with his uh, shots there, but um, in all fairness, Dewhurst did really well to save both of them. And um, we are going to demand, oh, say demand more. Oh, ru seriously! Oh, for Christ's sake! Literally, I've just lost Gordon for like six weeks, and now Rose got himself flaming sent off. And I haven't got anyone that can cover there, have I? Oh god, this just gets worse. I don't know what to do. Let's just bring you on for Dixon Bonner. I have to go four two two one, and when I said a point will be all right, a point will be more than all right here. Wellens with a free kick. It's another free header for Richards, and it's just over. We have been dreadful, but we have a free kick. Westbrook whips it in, and we find ourselves with a penalty. Now this is a very unexpected turn of events. We have Walker taking this penalty. Thirty-five minutes on the clock. This has come out of nowhere. Tyler Walker scores. Jesus Christ. Did you want him to save it, Tyler? Jesus Christ. But we find ourselves 1-0 up at Sutton. That is good. So literally our only highlight that I think we've had this entire game. Matt Gray looks absolutely furious with his players. I mean, they conceded a penalty and we scored for a bit. So I don't really I don't really understand that to be honest, but there you go. Alright, Janelle Bennett. Westbrook. Westbrook, oh he's done really well there. Walker now puts a lovely ball through to Laco, who's on side. Laco shoots. Oh It's a goal. Oh wow. I think we have to see this again. Because what the hell? Right, Leko, I thought that had gone over the line, but then everyone just sort of... They sort of froze and just, like, moved as, like, general AI would. I, I don't get that. I really don't get that one bit. But, guys, I'm not complaining one bit. We are leading 2-0 at top of the table, Sutton United. And we're down to 10 men. Right, 45 minutes on the clock. We're into two minutes of added time here. And Sutton are on the ball. Zanella and Randell, and that's over from them. We are going to go into half time at 2 0 up, and we are. We're getting away with this a little bit. We're down to 10 men. It's not over yet. It's not over by a long shot. Alright, another highlight here. Ward kicks it right up the field. But Gilchrist with the inception. Gilchrist, of course, uh, covering at right back. Gilchrist to Bennett. He puts the ball back out to Gilchrist. Can Gilchrist put a ball in? He can. Bennett now with the interception. Leco with the header and we've gone 3-0 up. Oh, lordy. Come on. And we are absolutely cruising here now. Three shots on target. Three flaming goals. That is not something you see from us very often. And Dewhurst gets that really well. And he whacks it right up the field to absolutely nobody. I had a, f I, I had a feeling we had someone like on the halfway line for that. And obviously we didn't. But um, are we going to intercept this? Uh, no. not Well, not yet, at the very least. Been put over the top there. And he is obviously offside. But Dewhurst collects. Dewhurst out to your west now. Gilchrist. Gilchrist, what's he going to do? He's got option. Oh, we're going down to 10, ten apiece here. That's obviously a sending off. That was a disgusting tackle. 
So it's 10 men apiece now. No man advantage now. And Clark to Grego Cox. Back to Clark. Over the top for Zanzella. Westbrook to Raymond. Raymond back to Yorweth. Puts it over the top. Walker can't win that. It's with Pritchard. Puts it over to Grego Cox now. Grego Cox for Sutton. Ah, oh, Hammond with a lovely interception there and clears the ball. But it is back with Sutton United. Gilchrist with the. Uh, Gilchrist picked it up there and Yorweth forward now. And it, but they are still coming forward. Grego Cox now cuts in. Grego Cox has literally got the run of the field. But Dewhurst, easy save for him. And immediately another highlight. Pritchard not being marked. That's a it's questionable defending. Right, Pritchard. Spin it in. Oh, oh wow. Okay. Walker heads it on to absolutely nobody. But again, that's fine. Gives us a little bit of time to regroup. Clark now coming forward at 4 Sutton United. It is still 3-0. Laco nicks the ball off him. And he's got a chance here to make it even more. Walker puts it through to Westbrook. Oh, beautiful. And we've boned that home for 4-0. And what was that Sutton defence doing? Jesus Christ. Right, they want me to bring Gilchrist off. I'm assuming. Let's put. Can we put Hammond out there? Or Yorworth? Yorworth's going to have to go there. And Taft is going to have to come on for Gilchrist. Hector Ingram can come on for War. For Janelle Bennett. Hinchelwood on for Jaden Raymond. And we'll bring Apta on for Laco. Because why not? Wonderful stuff. Wonderful stuff. We've got 10 minutes left to play we are going to be ending today's episode top of the table which is awesome four shots on target and we've scored four goals that you i've never seen that for me before at the very least never but it done to me a few times which obviously annoys me but yeah that's not something i tend to do very often four shots on target four goals awesome stuff what a cracking win. You know, that game against Salford recently was really disappointing. But we really came back We really came back strong there. And we went to Sutton and we won 4-0. And that is an incredible result. Which now puts us at the top of the table. That is a cracking result. And it's good for goal difference as well. Very, very nice indeed. Very, very nice. So, like we always do, guys. We're going to reconvene at the schedule. And just seeing if there's any update on the Plymouth job which I doubt it and even at this point you know Plymouth are like bottom of league two, league one and we're top of league two so what would what what would you do what would you do how did they get on recently they lost 1-0 at home to Bristol City who are just above them oh dear things are really not looking good for them is it it's really not Sheffield Wednesday, if that comes up, I'd be interested. Because I really, I really, I really like Sheffield Wednesday. Would really like to take them back to the Premier League. That'd be a cracking job. Absolutely cracking. Right, schedule. I said we'll reconvene here. And uh, we have the option to now. So I've popped on the schedule. If it decides to load. Oh, my lord, it has loaded. Fairly quickly. I say it's loaded, it's not. It has now. So, what are we going to be doing for the next video? I'm not going to show you Carlisle or Stevenage or Shrewsbury. Um, it looks like... Did I mention about this? I think we're going to be going through, uh, regardless of what happens. Uh, be very unfor I mean, we're playing Shrewsbury. And Blackpool would need to absolutely bone Newcastle under-21s for us to be knocked out. But we're looking really good in that group. I think we'll get through. I'm not sure when the next round of games will be, though. Uh, but failing that, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing next video. Uh, maybe the FA Cup second round. Let's. Uh... Right, so normally. So this round will be the third round we've drawn on the 11th of the 12th. So if we have a look. So it's probably going to be the Saturday in between here. For the FA Cup second round, providing we get through against Stevenage, of course. So we may come back for that. 
Or we may just come back and play Solid Hall Moors and Swindon. We may just do that, I'm not sure. Uh, but if any other job comes up, because uh, there were a few jobs available when we looked. So, um, but I don't think at this point it's any worth me. Um, see, Richie Wellens is um, favourite for the job at Plymouth. Is he unemployed? Is he employed? Where is he? Is it Leighton Orient? And where are Leighton Orient? I think they just got promoted, didn't they? Yeah, they're in League One. So if that job becomes available, that's something we may be interested in. But it's something that we will, of course, keep an eye on. But there you go, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please drop a like on there for me. Hit that subscribe button if you happen to be new. And I will see you again next time. Thanks again for watching. Ciao for now.